do it while you do it. Gonna eat some shit. So I don't have any more fire shards. That's not surprising. I want to just see what I have in terms of can I finish any puzzles right now? I do want to go heal and save and stuff. I have no reason to go back to the Dharma Temple yet. I still haven't mastered any jobs. Alright, so I think... Looks like we don't have enough pieces for this one. Probably need at least two more pieces, but probably three. This looks like a big six-piece puzzle. So three more wind shards. It is the last wind puzzle, so three more wind shards required. No surprise there. Let's check the land, land shard situation. The good thing is we're getting pretty close down to the last few islands here. Like, we only have one more puzzle in each room left, which is nice. Oh, this one might be just be two pieces. Nope, it's more. Boo. Um, top corner? What? Uh, oh, like that. Okay. This one might be one more piece or maybe two. I'm guessing it's going to be one more. So that's... And that was land. So yeah, there's one more land puzzle, one more water puzzle. Was it only one more fire puzzle also? Because I know it was one more... Uh, wind one for sure. Yep, we're down to the last puzzle in all of them. Which means we're finally almost done restoring this damn world. I'm sure there's going to be a part two. There is a disc two to this game after all. And it's probably going to kick in once we beat all the islands. So We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. This game is a, is a long bitch, but we're getting there. Let's go back to Dharma first anyway, just for the healing and the saving and the, that stuff. And then I'll check the map for the new island that we just unlocked, and we'll go there first. The healing and the saving and the whatnot. It's so cheap to stay here, so this is worth it. Six gold. Child's play. Feeling pretty good about my sitch. 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 My super cool situation. Feeling good in my nation. This is still disc one still. I thought you would have been on disc two by now. This is one of those PS1 games where most likely disc two is just like the ending part of the game and there might be some... FMVs that are actually in the ending part of the game. There's been very few FMVs in the first half of the game. I think there's been about five total, including the intro. So, it's really not a whole lot. But I expect the second half probably has more. It's one. Of, it's probably one of those situations where it was a game that didn't, like, it would have never needed two discs on a different console. I feel like the second disc is probably going to be short. Like, it had to go two discs just because they couldn't quite fit everything on that first disc. It was close. Because some of the PS1 games, literally the second... Like, the whole game is on both discs, but the cutscenes are on two different discs. So, basically, when you hit a cutscene, you have to switch to the other disc. I say that because if you've ever played Lunar on the PS1, that's exactly how it is. Alright, so the island I just unlocked, I think it's that one on the north side of the map. I don't think that was there before. And it looks like the shape of the island we were just on, so... I think that's my heading. North Island, which means we're gonna go south to get there. Oh, I could have magic carpeted, bro. Bro, we have the magical carpet of awesomeness. Use it. Fuck yeah. Here we go, baby! Who needs a ship? We got the magic fucking carpet, homie. Alright, so this is the island we were just at, right? Pretty sure. Right? No, it's not. Where are we at? I missed it. Damn it. Hold on. I was like, this doesn't look right. Never mind. Too big. There's mountains and shit. Not the right place. Kind of like Final Fantasy VII, how disc 3 exists only because the ending CGI cutscenes. Exactly. Final Fantasy VII's disc 3 is completely pointless as a disc. It's literally just the ending. Wow, this town thrived. It's got two parts to it now. What the heck? Alright, well, this island looks interesting now. Let's go check it out. I kind of want to go check out where the hell vine was supposed to be first. 
see if this grew up and came back or not. Oh, it's still a big gaping asshole. Gaping asshole. I can't interact with it anymore? Well, that's disappointing. Nothing here then. Fine. See ya. See ya bye. Okay, so this is the regular town? Like, is it just bigger now? Oh, hold on. Something's wrong, Funky G. What's that? What's wrong? Are all the people gone? Oh, shit. What the heck? Look, Funky G, the town is totally devastated. Who could have done such a horrible thing? I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Oh, shit. The Hellvine, bro. What on earth is going on? I thought we saved this town. Let's go back to the past and see if Lumen needs our help again. Wait, we have to go back? The Hellvine definitely came back. I called that. I'm Basir, a professional farmer. I've cultivated the fields for 20 years. There isn't a field in this world I haven't cultivated. Huh? Your face tells me that there is. Hell yeah. You want to go to the new town, homie? Do it. You didn't know there was a town like that. I'll go there and start cultivating. Sweet. Another person who's in there. I haven't been to that town in a while. Supposedly they're going to make an amusement park there, so I'm curious if they actually did. So this town got fucked up. Okay. I guess we're going to go back to the past and check that out. But before we do that, let's make sure we check everything. Maybe there's something in the well over here. Um, oops. I was going to check the well. Hold on. I'm still going to look at the tower and stuff here in the future. I want to see if there's anything at the tower. In the present day. What was this town's name again? Lumen. It's called Lumen. Whoa, there's a cave here. That's different. I wonder if that connects to where the Hellvine goes. Hmm, maybe. I didn't go back down the well after the priest dude left, so maybe. Alright, let's see what this is. Is this another town? A separate one? Or just a house? Maybe it's just a save point in. Oh, well, maybe. Let us dispense with pleasantries. You are a band of traveling fighters, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, so you've been fighting with monsters, yes? Yeah. Excellent. I finally found the people I've been waiting for. Assistant, give these people what I was talking about earlier. Wait, what? Yes, sir. Uh... A bag of food. Oh, okay. That beef jerky lets you tame almost any monster you run into. It's powerful stuff. Just one whiff and it turns them into little puppy dogs. Of course, it works best if you use it after the battle's over. I developed it after years of research, so try using as much as you can. This is all yours? This is all yours. What? You want anything? Do I want anything from you? Of course not. Well, now that you mention it. I only ask that you lend a little help so that I may fulfill my dream. My dream is to build a monster park right here. So if you tame any monsters after a battle, could you send them here? Please help me make my dream come true. Did you really just add a monster catching mechanic to the game? <sighs> Come on, man. I don't want another thing to do. I heard the professor's ancestors could actually communicate with monsters. That's why they ended up being drummed out of town. I wonder if that's true. I don't know. No special books. No special books. No special books. No special books. I could probably ignore this catching mechanic. Most likely. It probably isn't required. I doubt they're going to make a story bit out of catching a monster for any reason. This feels like a side quest to the extreme. Oh, you want more stuff to do in this game? Here, go catch monsters. How many monsters? Every single one. Cool. No thanks. Cool. Also a bridge here? What the hell? Oh, wow, you actually catch the monsters and they go here. That's interesting. I hope it doesn't require you to catch monsters to get a shard. Oh, that would be hella lame. Bro, I haven't looked at the shard list long enough to know if that's the case, but I hope not. Anyway, all right, so if we catch monsters, they'll end up here. I don't know if I'm actually going to do that at all. How does it work? It said use it after battle? Like, how does that even work? 
I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. Can I? Oh my god. There's fucking bridges that go all directions? Okay, no, just two directions, apparently. I'm gonna check this bridge, too. Just in case they happen to put a shard in one of these little side areas. You never know. Gotta make sure. Wait, there's a house here? What the fuck? Man. It's gonna be a substantial fucking place for some monsters if I actually catch some of them. Alright, anyway, I'm going to the tower for now. I want to see what's over over here now. I have to retread the tower for some treasure, maybe. Which I don't mind doing. There's probably a shard here if, the, if we do get all the treasures to return. The darkness did return. See, all the fucking death floors are back. That's fun. Back to fighting dragons again. Good times. Alright, let's do a little bit of that. Boom, baby. A little bit of that boom, boom, baby. Ooh. I'm not sure what you're referring to, DJ. But he says he's sorry, and then he said he misread it, so I don't know what we're talking about. I don't know if you're looking at a guide right now or whatever. I do have my guide open with the shard list, but I haven't looked at it yet today. I don't plan to look at it unless I get stuck, so we're good. Oh, you thought you accidentally banned someone? Oh, no, you just deleted his message. You're good. Also, Jester went up a level. We learned stand-up, and now we can make a quick joke. Dope. I can make quick jokes. Like, you know, about Sonic the Hedgehog, that kind of joke. You know, quick jokes. Like, how fast is Sonic the Hedgehog? Too fast. Too furious. Hilarious joke, I know. Alright, was there... I just remember switches. Hold up. I don't remember there actually being a treasure out here, just switches. Yeah. Breaker face shows me the deleted message with an icon to unban. Oh. I see. That's why you got confused. You thought you actually banned somebody. It's all good, man. Okay, so gotta go out there and get that treasure. Get that sweet, sweet treasure. There was also another treasure on the other side. I should have checked for that first before I went all the way around. That's okay. We'll get it. It's either going to be money, a medal, or something useless. Not likely to be a shard in the first chest. I shouldn't say useless. Maybe we'll get a good chunk of money. I don't know. Kill it, please. 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 Oh, my God. No. He called for help. Okay. That could have been bad. I went for the YOLO kill. I was un that was an un unwise move, and I got lucky. Thank God. I went for the kill, man. Unwise. I'm still focusing on main classes. Sort of. Sort of. I did finish mastering the, the, um, the monster one. I did master the Hork class I had. I won't say there's no intention. Speaking of monster classes, there's another one. We got Ellipsy. That's cool. I will say I won't say there's no intention, DJ, but I don't I definitely would like to unlock other classes like Sage and Dragoon cuz those were well, I don't know about Dragoon. Dragoon's been okay. Sage definitely has been worth it. We got revive, dude, and heal us. And we might even get heal us all when I master it. Who knows? That'd be epic. We'll see. Yes. I did master Hork, and yes, Funky G's sprite changed to a zombie when I was walking around on the map. It only happens when you're walking around on the world map, though. It doesn't happen in dungeons and... and well, I didn't check dungeons, but I did check... 
towns. It didn't happen in town. I could show that off. I'll probably have a chance to show that off before the game's over or so. I'm more than likely going to use another job, uh, monster job at some point. This game's long enough, right? So we'll see. And there's a chance I'll probably do some more grinding off screen. I mean, getting these extra abilities and leveling up a little bit extra has been nice. So I don't have to do it on screen as much. If I get, like, wrecked by a fucking boss, I, can't, I won't have to be like, damn it, I got to go grind now. That'll already be done ahead of time, so we could just play the game. So I don't mind having a little grind sesh between seshes. Incredibly Iron Turret rises and looks in a new direction. Somehow it's tamed. Ah, see? You don't even have to do anything. You just have to have beef jerky in your pocket. And you can catch the monsters without even trying. I wonder if that's random or if it's only for specific monsters. Like, I didn't catch one of those armor guns yet because they just... Or a regular dragon because they just can't be caught. Or if that just happens randomly. Well, shit, as long as I keep the beef jerky on Funky, we'll be catching shit as the game goes. We don't have to do anything special. That's nice. Yep, another tiny metal. Didn't that chest have a tiny metal in the freaking past also? That's funny. Um, okay. Uh, I what I was going to do. I was going to do something, but I don't remember what it was. Not important right now. All right, working our way back up the tower then. One step at a time, players, one step at a time. All right, so this floor just had stairs on both sides. I don't believe there was a treasure in this room, but there was a treasure up here. Huh, two dragons and some cures. Das Cures. I kind of want to kill the Cures, because I don't want them to cure the dragons. But in the meantime, I'm going to boom everyone. I'm not expecting a boss at the top of this place, by the way, so... I'm okay kind of just using up my MP on the way up here. No problem. No worries. I need to get some armor that defends me from hot and cold, man. We do have an ability that does that, but I need, I need equipment. I remember now I have a magic spell that actually, like, ups my resistance to cold and hot. And I forgot about that, but I do have that now. Also, no! This is not good! Okay, we're okay. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Heal us all. I guess the tiny metal was stolen from your party in the past to be put back in the same chest and will be taken by the same party in the future. Mind blown, Omega. Mind blown. My brain can barely fathom that statement. No more big... What the hell are you? Broad, ax broad axers. Okay, I get it. They got axes. They're broad. Boom them. When you were watching a video talk about Skyward Sword's time travel, you feel like you knew it before and just forgot it, but it's less consistent than you remember it. I don't even remember well enough to even have that thought, DJ. But I do know that uh, there is time travel in that game. <laughs> One day we'll play Skyward Sword on the channel. We will. Oh, fuck me. I thought I was already in the right spot. You motherfucker. Ooh. Anyway. Um, one of these days we'll play Skyward Sword. It will. We will. It might be after we replay all the other 3D Zeldas. Because, fuck that. I'd rather play those again. I know, I know I already said Majora's Mask 3D is my next on the docket, I think. Unless I decide to do one of the other Zelda games first that I haven't done on the channel. You know. Maybe a CDI one, but no plans for that right now. Pretty sure I'm going to do Majora's Mask 3D on the, on the 3DS next. Because, you know, that's my sheet. And then we're going to do a Majora's Mask Rando afterwards, right? Right? Maybe, DJ. Maybe. Probably not right after, though. Alright, so that was just some more gold. 
I'm okay with that. More gold's all right. I would like to do Majora's Mask Rando at some point, so I'm not trying to avoid it entirely. It's not like I don't want to do it. There was a chest up here, though. Mimic! No! These are the strong ones, too. Be careful. Um, let's just do heal us. No, don't kill me! Beat is scary, because that's an insta-kill. Don't care for that. No, sir. Kill it! Also, hey, Sparty. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm pretty sure I already wrote down when I wanted to do Majora's Mask on my, on my like, to-do list, but it's probably not for a few playthroughs. Probably won't even be this year. But we'll see. It just depends on how schedules go. Also, Jesus. I took one extra step and I fought another battle after that. Lame. Anyway, how was the Romulus movie? It was actually pretty good, Sparty. I thought, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Definitely had its nice spoops to it. Definitely had some gross stuff, as you mentioned. Nothing too gross, really. The only really, really gross part was probably the very end. I'll say that. But, like, yeah. Pretty savage movie. I liked it a lot. I'm a big I'm a big fan of the alien movies in general, honestly, so like I acknowledge that some of them have their shortcomings, like Resurrection's not a great movie. But overall, I like the alien movies. They're good movies. They're not as riddled with a bunch of garbage as others. Until you get to the Alien vs. Predator movies, of course, but I don't really count those as alien movies only. They're alien and predator both. They're Kind of a spin-off movie. You're a big fan of one and two. The rest you can do without. I don't know. I think I think some of the other alien stuff is good. Oh yeah, we were talking about gross stuff today. Not sure if anyone mentioned the boys. Funny you say that. And Sparty has seen all of it as well. Um, I was actually thinking that too later. Because me and Morrow were talking about gross... I actually brought the gross thing up tomorrow after we watched Alien Romulus. And she was like, The Boys is pretty savage. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah. I didn't even think about The Boys. But even that show... I think that show has, like, helped desensitize me <laughs> to some shit. Because that show is savage. That's one of the most savage shows. Like, imagine superheroes who just use their powers willy-nilly without any fucking regard for human life. Imagine that. And just... Imagine what they're capable of doing to humans and just they do it in that show. It's fucked up And yes, yes, Omega, I did enjoy the alien movie. I was just talking about that. I thought it was really good It's good if you like scary movies It's just a good movie overall. I would say is it amazing? Is it a top tier fucking 10 star? No, sure not. It's not. It's a horror movie, but it's still pretty good For its genre, it's pretty good You don't think you've ever been grossed out enough that you stop when to quit something's party? At the end of the day, you know it's just special effects and something, someone being creative. Right, exactly. And most gross stuff that they depict in movies and shows and whatnot, it's real. Or, like, they try to make it... Like, if it's gross, it's probably something that if you saw it happen, you'd be like, holy fuck. Like, they try to make it look like if it really happened to the person, and that's where the gross factor kicks in because they're trying to show it. Now, obviously, that's not 100% all the, always the case. We got crazy shit like demon alien babies and shit like that, sure. But, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, Dragoon. Gaba went up a level. Nice. He learned Massacre. Whoa. Now he can murder entire races of people. Don't do that, Gabo. That's wrong. But if I have to struggle through a scene cringing from it, you rethink your priorities. I guess that's fair, DJ. Especially practical effects. Yeah, practical effects is where it's interesting, right? How real can they make it look without just using CG? That's That can be impressive, man. You never know. Also at the top of the tower, just a question mark shard. Why is it a question mark shard? Uh, 
but what does that mean? We don't know which puzzle it's going to go to? Huh. There's a, met, uh, there's a map etched onto the surface of the thin stone slab. Yeah, okay, I get that. Huh. Interesting. Question mark. Why is it question mark? So weird. All right, well, I'm glad we came up here to get it anyways, even if it's unknown use is there. All right, cool. We did the tower again. I guess now we're going back to the past to see what the heck went wrong there now. Wait. I wanted to heal again. Sorry. Let me do that real quick. I just want to be full healed before I go there. Because I don't want to spend $75 on your shitty end when I can spend 6 at Dharma. Okay? <sighs> Trying to think of a way to mention what made you quit without spoiling uh, eyeball stuff. Quit what? The boys? Or just things in general? I will say, anything with... Eyeballs getting stabbed or, and, you know, stuff like that can be pretty rough to watch. I will agree with that. Anything with stabbed eyes or shit like that. Um, I'm usually pretty bad with needles in general, honestly. I'm, if there's anything that makes me, like, cringe, I won't say gross, but it's more like a cringe thing where I'm just like, Ugh, it's hard to watch. Anything with needles is pretty rough for me, personally. There is a lot of gross stuff. A lot of gross stuff in the boys to where it's like, how do you even decide what's the grossest? And I've watched all the boys. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what you're talking about, DJ. If it's a scene with Sage that I'm thinking of, you can just say yes or no to that if you want. Um, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was pretty rough. The stabbing eye thing. It's, uh, not fun. Not fun. Alright. Anyway. Off to a mother effing Let's go back to the mother effing past again. See what's up in Beckham Dan. I'm pretty sure the Hellvine's gonna respawn and then we gotta fight that, most likely. I gotta remember which one is what. I always forget which one it is. Is it this one up here? Was this one. Perfect. And I'm like, if I really wanted to, I could power through it, but I know they're going to go and one-up it again, so you lost interest. Well, if it helps at all, DJ, they're only going to do one more season of The Boys, as far as I know. The next season should be the finale. They said it would be. So, if that helps you power through just to finish the show to see how it ends, you know, that's a little bit of incentive, maybe. The Boys is pretty much grossness for grossness sake. Well... It seems in line with the comics, though. That's fair. Well, I was going to say, I think the idea is to show the savageness of superheroes when they don't give a fuck about human life. I think that's the biggest thing. There's some, there's more to it than that in the show, but in general, like, I think that's a big part of it. When, when superheroes don't have any regard for human life, how fucked up it gets. Old dark, large planet's roots here that was left alone. Was so, I'm guessing the plant fell underground and it's been uh, coming in from underground, under the well, fucking up the town. That's my guess. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Called that immediately. I can't breathe. Help! Yeah. Oh god! It's tentacle porn. It's it's hentai time, y'all. Oh, we can actually fight the tentacle. Interesting. Vine root, huh? Kill it! <laughs> Basically, we'll wait till the show ends to ask to see if there's worse than what there has been so far. I guess that's fair. That's fair, DJ. 
And it's probably the basic concept, and you agree, that's probably what would happen more or less if superpowers were real. Humans have a long history of abusing power whenever they have it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think, especially if you can make yourself into a superhero and it's not just something you're born with, which is basically how the show is, you know, goes, that the powers come from, they were manufactured, basically. And it just manifests in different people in different ways, but the power comes from, you know, a chemically created thing. Everyone, look at this! We thought the Hellvine was dead, but it lives! The priest! Please rescue the priest! He's inside the temple! Alright, he's probably already gone. Oh shit, maybe I can't help him. I got you, homie. I got you. But yeah, just like the savageness of, like, say you had superpower, and you didn't know, like, actual physical superpower, and you didn't know you had it, right? Or, like, you just haven't honed it yet. And say you're, you punch, you punch something, it just smashes to bits. Maybe you punch a person because you got mad at them, and boom, you punch a hole right the fuck through them. Well, the boys depict shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, they actually show a superhero punch a hole through somebody, and that's technically true. So there's even worse uh, examples of that, but that's just a, that's a tame example. But, like, just think about it from that perspective. That's what the boys depicts. And I think it's kind of... A, it's, a, it's a savage, different take on you know, all this Marvel and DC shit we've been watching for the last 20, 30 years. Not that I hate any of that. I love the Marvel stuff. I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying. The Boys is a nice, interesting take on it that I like a lot. Even if it's fucked up and hard to watch sometimes, the story itself is great. Anyway, I doubted that I would ever see you again. I cannot find the words to express my gratitude for having been saved by you time and time again. This does not appear to be the time or place for a quiet chat. However, I welcome the opportunity to be of assistance to you. Sure. I guess we can save it. Or here. Why not? In case I happen to die, I can just be right here. Reload my save and not have to lose all my money, which I definitely don't want to do. If I could choose a superpower, it would be to speak all languages. It's useful, but doesn't make you dangerous. Interesting. I wonder if somebody could just do that without it being a superpower, you know what I mean? Like, you could just learn every language. Is that humanly possible to learn every language? Is there anybody on Earth who knows every language? I wonder. It's an interesting thought. Because this doesn't feel like you need to be super to do that. It just feels like you need to be very dedicated to learning. And be able to just understand. And, like, you can obviously build one language on another because a lot of them do have similarities once you get going. But, like, I wonder if there's somebody out there who literally can speak, like, every language or close to. There's some people who speak a lot of languages, but I don't think it'd be possible to speak all of them. There just wouldn't be enough time in your life. I guess that's fair. There's just too many languages that some random villages only speak. I guess that's true. But I mean, like, every language that is, like, common. Well, there's definitely someone out there who speaks all the common languages. That's a dumb thing to say. But I guess there's just too many dialects of things out there, too, to really say every language. Ah, thank you very much. I thought we were done for, but you've saved us. I tell you, though, no matter how you attack the roots of the, roots of the Hellvine, your efforts will be in vain. The foul plant's core must be around here somewhere. We must find it and strike it down. It's definitely under the well, so I already know it. Can't talk to that lady, apparently. All right, bye. Isn't it, isn't it Icelandic that's dying now because people just speak English instead? Oh yeah, some languages are just dying because they don't, aren't spoken as much. That makes sense. Go away! Shoo shoo! Can I just kill the vines that are actually attacking people? And then I'll go figure out where the core is at? I'm just gonna do that. Kill the vines that are in the way. Also, shit, I should've healed! Funky, don't die! Uh... Brother, uh... Don't kill Funky! Ooh. Don't kill Mary Bell either, damn it. Bastard. <sighs> there was this one guy who could learn languages super fast, even learned the Icelandic in a week, chat? Damn. 
There's probably someone out there who speaks a majority of the languages in the world. I mean, maybe it's one person, but I feel like there's got to be someone out there. If you could choose to just magically speak a few languages, which would you go with? Besides Norwegian, of course. <laughs> of course! Why, would Nor why wouldn't I want to speak Norwegian? I gotta talk to Sparty in our secret language. <laughs> but in all seriousness, um... Languages that I would want to magically be able to speak. Uh, probably Japanese, 100%. Just instantly speak Japanese would be great. That's probably my number one if I really thought about it. Um, Spanish definitely would be nice to be able to just straight up speak it. I love Spanish. I wish I could speak it better. I should learn more, honestly, and get better at it. Because I can understand parts in here. When I hear people speak it, I can usually get the gist of what they're saying, unless they're speaking way too fucking fast, which happens sometimes. Um, but yeah. I'm guessing I gotta get to the well. That's what I'm doing. You just wanna be able to roll your R's? Gotta roll those R's! Those R's! <laughs> just gotta practice, man. You just gotta practice talking shit about it. You're just laughing, of course. You want to speak to the homies? Of course. Norwegian. Anyway. Japanese number one. Full-on speaking Spanish where I can actually speak it properly would be great. And I don't know. How many languages are we talking here? Are you just saying it's all the ones I would want to know the most? Japanese I don't know any of, so Japanese is number one for me. Like, I shouldn't say any, but you know what I mean. Like, I know very, very minimal to the point where it's like, I'd love to be actually able to speak it. <laughs> but the monkey's paw is, you have to unlearn English to learn all these. Uh, Korean would be cool. Yeah, I actually like how Korean sounds. Korean's cool. I guess one of the Chinese languages would be good. Cantonese or Mandarin, doesn't matter. Would be nice. But definitely we're on the right way to get to this damn, the damn root of the problem, if you know what I mean. You guys ready to get to the root of the problem, if you will? Yum, yum, yum. DJ's picks would be English, Spanish, Japanese, Russian, and you don't even care about PT? Oh, Portuguese. So wait, okay. Spanish and Japanese, you'd be good. Chinese, Russian, Arabic, and maybe European language. Yeah. <laughs> speaking Russian would turn yourself on, Morrow, so that's a no. You turn yourself on just by speaking Russian? That's funny. <laughs> Russian would be cool. The Russian accent is always... I always like doing that. That's, that's one of my favorite languages to do. Or languages. Accents to do. Even though I'm not great at it, I like doing it. I should, I, I should practice it more, because I do like doing it a lot. Speaking of which, there it is. <laughs> I haven't even done it in a while, so I'm probably going to be terrible at it right now. Got to spend those 800k points somehow. Also... I found a steel sword. Probably terrible. Cool beans. With English, Spanish, Russian, and Arabic, you can cover most of the world travel-wise. This is very true. Very true, Sparty. Very, very true. Very good long. Much language is Russian, English, and Spanish. You can... With Spanish language... Blah, 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 blah. Man, I can't even... I can't even do the accent right now. I'm fucking terrible. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, so I'm very unpracticed. I will try my best to not sound like Count Chocula only. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Drink some water, she says. She thinks water will help the problem. We'll see. I do not know if water is helpful, but it is nice on throat for nice cool air and w cool refreshing feel on throat. Please tell me water will heal me for free. It does nothing. This water does nothing. It's very disappointing. 
Hopefully we can kill Hellroot problem and future people will not be dead in this village. That would be good. This vine feels like it's luring me in and I do not appreciate its wily temptressnesses. Maybe we should drink some fresh spring water from Chernobyl. Get superpowers. Be like Homelander. The Russian version of Homelander. He needs to have someone who can rival his strength and power. Maybe Russian version will give him chance. <laughs> the amazing cancer man. Exactly. <laughs> Her sickest superhero. Super sick bro. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> I uh... How much longer till I reach Vine, monster core? I want to kill, I want to burn, I want to save village, I want things. How come there are other monsters down here? This should be Vine only. Fuck your devil bird bitches. I feel very unpracticed with my Russian accent. <laughs> I need to go watch like a video where somebody's speaking with, an, with a Russian accent, like English in a Russian accent, and get better at it again. Like get practiced at it again. I shouldn't say better, but practice at it again. <laughs> unpracticed? She'll redeem it every day. That'll give me practice. Thanks, Mara. Appreciate it. Sparty's girlfriend went to Chernobyl, and. There were actually some guys there, trying to drink from the river. Well then they dare to get cancer and dare to die very soon. Stupid people, is stupid. Some people just want to die, they ask stupid question, they try stupid thing, they die. Boom, you dead. Oh yes, we found devil armor. That feels like very not good armor to wear. It might just be cursed. We don't want cursed armor. Cursed armor is bad. If you wear this armor, it smells trouble. Make it double. R.I.P. to Jesse. The armor is very good, but it's also probably very cursed. I do not want to wear cursed armor. No, no, no. I will try when after I save the game. Then I will put on cursed armor. Something tells me it's not good. Not good. What are you, some kind of pussy? You don't drink waters of Chernobyl? You don't believe in superpower? Come on! Drink the water! At the very least, you will be hydrated. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's going off the rails here. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. <laughs> I think after I finish this island in its entirety being this fucking hellvine and shit, I'll probably go eat because I'm getting hungry. Your boy getting hungry. Gonna have an early lunch break today. Getting hum hungry. Have that early break break today. Hey, hey, hey. Your boy getting hungry. How much further till I fuck him up? Getting hungry. Getting hungry, hungry, hungry. In here, in here. I was gonna do boom with Mary Bell there, but I accidentally clicked past her turn. Also, I need to stop healing with Funky. Mary Bell's got a lot of MP still. Use it to heal. Everybody, yeah, yeah, go boom boom, yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah, boom, those bitches right, baby devils all right, down, 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 down. 
All right, victorious. Ooh. Glorious. I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. Until the end. Until the end. That was actually a good time to use that. Everybody was hurt a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh, we might be here, maybe. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. It looks like the core, baby. Let's get to the core without fighting a bunch of tentacles on the way. Uh, Do I want to heal Gabo a little bit more? Eh, just a regular heal should do it, right? He only needs 40. That'll do. All right, let's get it. Get get that PD Piranha bitch deaded. He's got, he's got that long, sneaky tongue, little bitch. Trying to play that hentai game with me, little bitch. All right, he's got two tentacles to take down as well, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to take down his roots first. Absolutely. I got the roots in my face and I'm gonna boom your shit. I got them roots in your face and I'm gonna smack your, smack your. Boom! Betty Wap booming! Kill that dead. Oh god, he spews out poison? No! Shook off the poison. No, don't do stop spell. Okay, so Funky can't use magic. I guess that's okay for now. Could be a problem later, but it should be okay for now. I'm gonna keep booming. Keep it booming! Hoping to kill off the other vine here. Boom! Okay. Close his eyes, close his eyes. Okay, I think everybody missed that. Did it say Mary Bell's? <sighs> Mary Bell's magic got sealed too. Shit balls. Well, this is not good. I won't be able to use my magic. Uh, I don't think I have any way to fix that either. Uh, that's not good. Okay, well, fuck it. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Or your regular attacks. Because that's all you got. Yeah, keep shaking off that poison, friends. Keep doing that. I get the feeling he can call out more vines. It feels like this is the kind of fight where he can call out more vines. And everybody's got Dazzle except for Funky. Great. Love that. Love the bedazzled bubble. It's kind of annoying that status effects just kind of persist through a fight. They don't just go away. Someone got poisoned badly. Mary Bell and Gabo got poisoned badly. Great. I can't use magic to heal them. Great. Do I have any antidotes on anyone? Not on Funky. Alright. You're gonna just attack them. Any antidotes on you? Nope. You're gonna just attack them. Any antidotes on you? Nope. Fucked. So I can't use my heal, right? I'm pretty sure it's blocked still, right? Yep. It's kind of lame that they let you cast a spell even if you can't actually cast it. I think that's stupid. I think that's dumb. I wish it didn't do it that way. We're probably going to lose because I can't heal now. Dude blocked all of my magic. And I'm poisoned. I have no way to heal either thing. My health or my magic. Actually, that's not entirely true. Mary Bell does have the Wonder Rock or whatever. That does heal. All right. It's unfortunate that the poison killed us. If we weren't poisoned, we could probably have come back from that. I'm probably gonna reset. I don't want to lose all my fucking money. I'm glad I saved it at the church. Okay, we're gonna prep ourselves a little better this time. Um, yeah. Time to reset. Yeah, make sure you're healed all the way, because going into this fight, if you get MP blocked at all, then it's psh, annoying. Might as well go in with full health. Alright, so. Focus immediately is to just, just wreck shop, homie. 
Wreck that shop, homie. Mary Bell booming. I'm okay with them slapping me. Slap all you want. Just don't use your stupid status effects. I'm good. I'm just gonna do heal us now because again, if he starts blocking my MP, I'm gonna have problems. So we might as well heal every turn from here on. In case that shit happens. Fuck! Wow. Can y'all stop having turns? Fuck me, dude. What the hell was that? They got so many damn turns, that was ridiculous. You know what? I'm gonna use Boom. Because if I don't, I might not even have a chance to revive Funky anyway. This Vine Slaps are too much right now. Stop it. There, we got rid of both the damn roots. Thank God. But of course, Mary Bell fell asleep there. Just what I needed. Just in time. Cool. Can we use one of those world fucking... Do I have one? I don't have one. Damn it. I'll say I'll use one of those world leaves right now. We might have already got effed on this attempt. Which is super annoying. Cool. I love getting knocked to sleep every turn. So annoying. Well, that's game. I already lost this attempt. Love that. I can't revive now. Man, I got fucked that time. RNG was not on my side. I got fucked in the A, man. That was not cool. Not cool at all. It's like me and my amiibo. If I would have bought all my amiibo at once, you don't want to know how much that would have costed. <laughs> but all of my amiibo accumulated over the last 10 years, that's different. Um, I guess I'll just use heal us. That's fine. Alright. I think everybody's good to go. Let's fight this bitch, right? I think Gabo's full. Uh, yeah, I think it's good enough. Whatever. Let's get, let's get lucky here. But for you, it's probably like for a year at most. Well, even $150 in a year isn't too crazy, right, DJ? I mean, it sounds like a lot in your head, but in a whole year, that's not that bad. People spend more on hobbies all at once. Okay? The issue is that on Amazon, it doesn't seem like you can even apply any coupons for those. Like, what kind of coupons? Like, the monthly free buying book kind of coupon? Is that what you mean? Like, the, uh... doesn't add ebooks to card only has one click options are you talking about like um, shoot what's it called audible are you talking about audible or are you actually buying literal ebooks anyway we're booming let's go we're booming y'all coupons literal ebooks yeah I was just thinking all like, now you're probably talking about the actual ebooks <laughs> Not just Audible. Not audiobooks. You're talking about actual books. I don't know why I thought of Audible. Audible is supposed to be for audiobooks. Okay, so Gabo, I think, is the only one that's not asleep. So this is going well already. And he missed, so great. We're off to a great start. This is going well. This is going swimmingly already. Don't put Marie to sleep. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't kill her. Don't you kill her! Don't you kill her! Thank you, Jesus. Alright. Can we get some attacks in here, though? For real. I'm just gonna do heal us again, because I'm annoyed. Finally, kill one root. Anyway, so your only option to get a, any discount on it is to wait for Prime Day where your bank might do a 10% cash back like they did this year. I mean, I guess if you're worried about price, DJ, you could do that. Again, why are you waiting? Or why are you trying to buy them all at once, man? 
just buy like we said just buy them as you go if there's no coupons to buy them in groups anyways you might as well just buy them as you go and if you can get some discounts along the way cool if not oh well at least you didn't spend it all at once To be honest, paying $150 for three books that would last a year seemed like a good price at first, but the real question is whether or not you'd want to reread them after that. Well, 33 books, sorry, man. Yeah. True. But still. It's for a year, man. Nowadays, 150 bucks in a year is not really that much. Maybe you buy them all at once and get tired of them after five books. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Just buy them along the way, man. You're better off doing that than anything else, because if there's any chance you don't keep going... Don't kill Funky here. God damn it. Okay, so she's asleep now, so we're gonna have to use this opportunity to heal himself. Hopefully it'll actually go through without him dying. I need Marie Bell to wake the fuck up. Thank you. Don't kill Funky. Ah, you bitch. It's fine. She woke up just in time to revive his ass. Hopefully nothing bad happens here so she can revive him. so inconsistent whether or not I get to go first. It's so annoying. Don't sleep me, bro. Damn it. Oh, well. It's fine. Don't poison me, bro. Mary Bill got poisoned, huh? Oh, I forgot to grab the antidotes. Balls. I forgot to grab the antidotes. Balls. Don't I have a, an ability that heals poison now? I swear I did. Maybe, I think, I, you know what, I think, I think Mary Bell has it. I think she has one that actually heals poison. I think so. Whatever, just attack then. Until she wakes up, she's just going to be poisoned. Don't sleep me, bro. She's already asleep, so who cares? Funky was poisoned. Great. Well, almost Mary Bell wakes up, we're stuck with poison. So, oh well. I'm gonna have him heal. Since she's still asleep, he's gonna have to heal. Meanwhile, we are chipping his bitch ass down. Still a fucking sleep though, and I'm kind of getting irritated by it. Wake the hell up, girl. Wake up, sheeple. Alright, so that's the dazzled one, that's fine. Alright, can we heal this fucking poison? That'd be cool. I swear I have it. I swear she... <sighs> maybe... Maybe Gabo has it? Cures palsy effects. I thought I had a poison heal move, man. I swear I had a poison heal move, didn't I? I'm tripping, man. Maybe I don't. Maybe I never did. Maybe I'm just tripping. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna do this, I guess. Sweet. My MP was not blocked, so we're good right now. This turn is dedicated to attacking and using some BOOM action! Don't sleep me, bro! Alright, only Funky fell asleep. That's okay, I guess. I'm gonna BOOM again. 
I know, we need Boom more. I'm pretty sure Boom does have a sequel. It's called Bang. I just don't know if they have it in this game. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually called Boom more in this game, though. <laughs> Maybe one of the temporary party members had it? No, I'm pretty sure I remember learning a move and I was like, oh shit, that heals poison? Dope. But I swear, was I just fucking imagining it? Did I make that up in my fucking dreams? Oops, I did not mean to make her attack normally, but oh well, it happened. Don't work, don't work. Okay. I think it only worked on Gabo, or did it work on Mary Bell? No, I'm not sure. Damn, crit hit his ass, let's go. Aha, oh, let's go, fuck it all, we win, bitch. Suck it, you hellvine crackhead yeah yes you keep all your spells when you change classes x gamer all your spells and skills damn actual good experience in gold for winning for once crazy and he dropped a wind shard nice all right that actually might open up a new area maybe i think wind was the one i only needed one more piece so maybe maybe that was land Anyway, the Hellvine has used up all of its energy and has begun to decay. Seems unlikely that it will revive again. Unlikely, it says. Oops, I'm also poisoned. Cool. Let me fix that. Actually, fuck that. Who cares? Oh, we win. I can't promise my bravery enough. Did you see me, Hunkiji? I was on fire out there. Yeah, you were. I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here is what I'm gonna do. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for saving us once again. Thanks for you, thanks to your work, the presence of evil is gone from Lumen. Now I feel that the future of this city is brighter than ever before. Just watch us. We will join together and build a wonderful future for ourselves. That's cool. Um, oh, what the hell is this? The priest went out a little while ago to see what shape the town was in. A lot of pieces returned to this town thanks to you. The priest went to witness the spectacle for himself. While he is away, I will pray for you. Oh, thank you. Can you pray with a poison away? That'd be cool. That plant boss wilted a lot like the Super Metroid plant boss. It kind of did. It kind of did. Alright, let's heal Marie's poison real quick. It only cost me five gold. That's cheaper than wasting an antidote on that shit, so I figured why not. Nope, we're good. Thank you. I feel like I should talk to everybody again, just in case someone else has a shard or something to give me around here. I wish I could have seen it. A second ago, a hellvine root looked like it was going to the going to flower, so I peed on it until it plunged back underground. Wow. I peed on it. I must have been the one to defeat the boss because I peed on it. The bravest of us all. He peed on it. The hell is this? Great, just a little more. Now try jumping over here. Take a look at what I found on one of those dead vine roots. They must have disturbed the little larva in its sleep. Angered by the intrusion, he suctioned himself to the root. Curious, isn't it? This little maggot is as cute as a bug. I've decided to call him Chibi. Hey Chibi, you look like you've been growing. Nah, you couldn't be. Alright Chibi, time to practice your jumps. Come on now, jump, jump. Fucking Chibi. Bro's just weird. What happened to the bomb guy? Did he get bombed? Boom? Did he go boom? Bomb guy go boom? The girl at the graveyard's gone. Did the people who got... Oh, right. I can't go that way. What the fuck? I have to go through the thing. Um, did the people who got grabbed by the vines, did they all die? A few people got nabbed. I mean, you gotta be mad to whip your generals out near a hellvine. Absolutely. You're safe! Thank heavens! When I heard a loud noise echoing from the bottom of the well, I grew concerned. Wait a second. That determined, self-satisfied scrawl on your face. You defeated hellvine! It is as the priest said. Have patience and faith. And someone will defeat it for us, because we can't do it ourselves. Have patience and faith. Aye. My poor old wife got eaten by the Hellvine. If I wait here, will the same fate befall me? 
What? You defeated the Hellvine? It's not coming no matter how long I wait? If that's true, then the town of Lumen has at last found peace. My dear wife, I'll be with you soon enough. Wait for me, though. It looks like I'll be staying here a little longer. Lumen will be at peace for generations to come. I dare death to stride our way... To stride our way with our with this sickly girlish gait. Wow. Rip to his wife, I guess. Has the Hellvine really been defeated? Yep. Is it really, really true? Yep. I see. It's a pity that I won't be able to fight him anymore. <laughs> you wanted to fight him yourself, huh? Sure. You've done it again. Don't be modest about it, Chief. I can hardly believe it. First, you disemboweled the Dark Draco, and then you harvested the Hellvine. In the end, it'll be one... It'll... It will be one like you who saves the world from itself. Ah, forget I said that. I wouldn't want to give you a swelled head. <laughs> so funny. Yum, 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 yum. I don't really want to stay here. Talk to me, lady. Talk to me. Talk to me, lady. Talk to me. The wilting of that unwieldy killer vegetable is certainly cause for rejoicing. I think it's going to be a while before I can toss a salad. That lady, uh, into tossing salad, I see. She's going to wait a while before she does it again, but she sounds like she's going to get back on that, ta that salad tossing horse, I'll tell you what. She sounds gung-ho about it. For a few days now, we've been having a series of tiny earthquakes. I suspect that the Hellvine's underground movement has slightly altered the town's foundation. Slightly? What's that? You defeated the Hellvine? If that's true, we've got nothing to be afraid of anymore. Even though the darkness has lifted, I keep having a dream about the town being destroyed. When the Hellvine regrew, I was worried that my nightmare was coming true. But now I can finally sleep soundly. You're welcome. Alright, well, I guess we're done here. Um... Nobody else had a shard to give me or anything, so... Back to the future with me to see that this town has not been destroyed, hopefully. Oops. I don't know, should we check here? I feel like there's not going to be anything here. Yeah. It says the same shit it always says. Uprooted, blah blah blah. scooty ba doo doo blah blah blah. So I got a land shard, right? And a question mark shard on top of that, right? No, a wind shard. We have a question mark shard and a wind shard. Huh. Alright, so was the wind shard enough to finish one? I don't think wind is. I think wind's the one I needed six pieces. Yeah, definitely not enough. Two more pieces. Two more pieces. 